Hello fellow gamers out there and welcome to a video from me, Para from 3 Commando, although I haven't played with 3 Commando for quite a while now. Um, I had problems with my internet and I've moved house and various other things, so that's why there haven't been any updates on the Armour 3 stuff. And to be honest with you, I have got a little bit, I've lost that Armour passion that I used to have. And... Um, Due to the problems with the internet, I've actually started to... I actually bought myself, dare I say, a PS4 um, so that I could play it offline. And now that I've finally got the internet sorted out, I've been having a few games of Drive Club. And this is the actual footage that you're looking at now. And one of the first things I wanted to say about this game is... You're actually looking at some multiplayer footage now. Since launch until today, this is about the first time I've actually been able to play a multiplayer game of it. It just disconnects, you can't connect, and it's... Just sort your fucking shit out, Sony. Really. Fuck's sake. Now, the footage you're looking at is actually me in a multiplayer game. And... For me, I'm not really bothered about the win. It's more about the enjoyment of the actual driving. And what I've found with this game is, is that the PlayStation 4 community are an absolute bunch of cunts. Fucking bellends, honestly. They don't give a fuck whether they ram into you, slam you off the track or whatever like that. I just really want to play this game for the enjoyment of racing and actually driving. So for me, I actually prefer it once I've been in a few games, is if I start at the back of the grid and just maybe try and get to 6 or 7. And I'm quite happy with that. Um, as with most racing games, first corner, you break as you should do, and some cunt will just ram me up the ass. Some faggot, faggot little cunt cod player, will ram me up the fucking ass. But anyway, in this video, as you can see, I'm just showing you a couple of the views here. I'm trying to drive as clean as I can. At the beginning of this video, I actually braked and let the guy pass. Of course, little bits like you'll see in a minute, whether whether some of these times when they bash into it is actually intentional, it's difficult to say. The one thing I wish that they had done was they, they could have made the road a lot wider. This would really, really help when you're trying to overtake. Oh, fucking hell, I hit the, uh, the uh, snow there, my fault. Some of the tracks are really like almost, <coughs> excuse me, almost one car and a little bit thin. So trying to overtake, there is limited places. So when people are impatient and they want to get that win, they are just going to fucking run straight past you. You see that there, that guy ran me up the arse. Was that my fault because the road wasn't wide enough? Or was it because he just wanted to spin me? And that happens a lot. Again, I'm trying to, I slowed down there because I knew that corner was coming. Slammed me up the arse and as you can see he's gone flying past. There's not enough penalisation. Clean out. Penalisation with this game. For fucking idiots. And I think also once you come off the track you get three seconds and it'll put you back. It, it should penalise you for a lot more than three seconds. See, I'm bombing down here. I can't remember what this car is, but it's actually quite good. So red, as you can see there, I'm trying to slow down for this corner. Do I get round up the arse? I'm, I'm surprised they should call it gay club, not dry club. I'm that fucking ass banging in this game. So anyway, what, what do I really think about this? Well, graphics are nice. I think in certain places the graphics are really nice. They look really good. I'll, I'll be honest, they do. They look really nice. Other places, not as good. And I do wonder whether a lot of the video footage that we'd seen on um, a lot of the trailers was in, was on a PC. Possibly. Um, let's wait for the rain effects and everything else that's coming. I think Sony really have dropped a fucking clangor with this game. Not having a, a, even a replay feature or anything. The game just feels... Apart from the driving, which is really, it's enjoyable, the game's fucking sterile and dead. It really... It's got no fucking life to it at all single player campaign drive end drive end drive end there's no celebration of winning there's no there's no incentive otherwise than to unlock cars and um, while I did enjoy it for the first hour or two it's starting to become repetitive the crashing and bumping into each other and uh, this social aspect that Sony talked about where is it I, I you know I'm in a, in a club don't know these people but surely like on this track it would say so and so in this club has done this time no nothing I don't I really don't understand what it is couldn't give a fuck about fame and all that wank not interested but um, overall enjoyable I'd give the game 6 out of 10 no more than that 
and um, I'm just going to show you another clip of my favourite car, the Ferrari, and just show you how mental it can be with fucking idiots. I actually get a car land on top of the bonnet, and I carry on driving. But anyway, no more armour videos for me for a while until I decide I'm going to get back into it. But uh, in the meantime, this has been Drive Club on the PS4, and now I'll show you some fucking carnage in the Ferrari. More videos coming soon. Hit that like button. Adios! I'm going to say see you on the battlefield, but I'll see you on the track. Fucking no bed.